you, you took your crying child to meet Captain Hook. Well, I'm a fucking grown ass adult. All I want to do is take a selfie and move the fuck on. But no. Happening, everybody. My name is Gigi, and you are watching Anime Palooza. Today, we have another unboxing for you, and this box I've been waiting for for so long. I can't even fathom it, but it's cool. It's cool. It's here now. It's my July big old box of stuff. Yes, my July Bobos is finally here. I know I'm filming this on like the 2nd of September. It did come about a week ago. Um, so big old box of stuff is a company that makes a subscription box specifically suited towards your tastes. Um, it's like got nerdy stuff, and I use that term loosely. You fill out a questionnaire and they'll put a bunch of stuff in a box that you like. You're guaranteed to like the stuff because you're filling out the questionnaire. If you say that you like Harry Potter, there's gonna be Harry Potter stuff. If you say that you like Disney, there's gonna be Disney stuff in your box. And they were having some shipping issues for July, which is cool. I think mine was one of like the last ones to go out, um, but it's okay. It's cool, it's cool. August will hopefully be coming shortly or maybe they just skipped it. I don't know really what they did. Um, but I will leave all the information down in the down bar below on how you can get a Bobos of your own. I highly suggest you do. If you buy them month to month, it is $35 a month. If you get a three month subscription, it is $30 a month, including shipping only available in the United States as of now. And they're also starting something cool. I will talk more about that at the end of the video. But for now, I've been waiting too freaking long to get this box open. I'm trying to cover my address. Let's get our unboxing on because I just can't wait. Ugh, I just can't wait to be king. R.I.P. my Simba Funko Pop that was in last month that I destroyed while I was cutting the box open. This month I'm trying to be slightly more careful in my box cutting abilities, which I didn't even cut the box. I just kind of, I suck. I suck at scissors. Okay. So just as an FYI, your Bobos will be different from my Bobos. Everybody's is different. No two are the same at all. And as I promised, I am doing this unboxing blind. I have no idea what's in here. I didn't open it yet. When you take out the paper, how does it look? Is it cool? I hope so. Okay. I know it is, but I hope it's cool. All right, so I'm not gonna look at it. I'm gonna put it over here. I did change my survey around for the second wave of Bobo's things. I think I put Captain America on there. I definitely put Suicide Squad on there. So I tried to give them more stuff because my tastes are very limited to the stuff that they can provide because like I don't like Lord of the Rings and I don't like Star Wars or Star Trek or anything that takes place in space. So I try really hard to like give them more stuff to put in my box. So I hope that I succeeded. And the first thing feels like a Funko Pop. And I don't know which one it is, I'm not looking. Is it cool? What is it? Oh, Maleficent! That is very cool. Um, I actually do have this one already. This is from series one of the Disney Funko Pop series. This is one of the very first Funko Pops I bought, actually. But I did put Disney villains along with Funko products on my survey, so that's why I got Maleficent. That's very cool. Actually, I can take this one out of the box now and bring her to work with me and put her on my desk. So thank you, Bobos. Again, you're too cool for school. <gasps> yes! Oh, I wanted one of these for so long. This is a Disney Villains figural key ring. It's a blind bag. Um, you can buy these at Hot Topic. I have a bunch of other ones, but I don't think I've ever purchased this one specifically. You can get a whole bunch of different characters. These are all the ones you can get on the back, and there are two blind ones. Um, one is the kid from... Nightmare Before Christmas, one of the trick-or-treaters. The other one is uh, the dude from Toy Story. So let's see which one I got. I would really like um, Cruella DeVille because she's my favorite character, or also Dr. Facilier because I love him. And I ended up getting, oh cool, okay, it's Captain Hook. And I really like these key rings. They're heavy, first of all. And they're made out of this material that's like really sturdy. A lot of people say that, but this is like a good quality keychain. So I really like that. Something is in bubble wrap. This, I hope this is, oh, this has got to be cool because it's in bubble wrap and anything in bubble wrap is good. <gasps> oh my God. It is a Captain Hook uh, Funko Mystery Mini from the Heroes vs. Villains series, which I do not have. Um, I think I only have one of these if that yes i do and it's a stitch but i love this oh my god my box is like totally disney villainy i love it so much 
the little thing they give you to tell you how many months you have left of your subscription. So this is my second box. Um, I have one more to go. And then this is a letter about their, this is a letter about their Kickstarter, which is the thing I was going to talk to you guys about. Bobos did start a Kickstarter and I will link it down in the down bar below. Please consider donating. I've donated already. Um, and what it is, is they want money to be able to, you know, ship the boxes out on time and have like a backlog of stocks that they can pick from. So they're not like running around like crazy people trying to find stuff for everyone. And so I backed it. I think it has about $2,000 to go before it's funded. And they have some really nice, what do they call those on Kickstarter? The little things you get when you kickstart something. Uh, the, <laughs> my sisters are going everywhere. The one that I got um, was like the small box of stuff. It's a $30 donation, but I donated, I think like 75. Um, and they'll send you a little bag of stuff to coincide with the boxes that you get. So it's really nice of them to even give anything for well, donating money to them. But I really hope they make their goal because Bobos is a really great company. It's founded by three people, a husband, a wife, and their daughter. And it's a family owned company. They do it while they do their own full time jobs. And it's a lot of work and they're clearly listening, working with all of their customers great they're amazing people and i hope your kickstarter gets backed guys i really do there's a thing in the bottom of the box that's like really in the box um so i got a piece of bubble gum it's hubba bubba i'm not gonna do a bubble test on that um oh cute okay i got a my little pony button but it's 80s my little pony which is the best my little pony and then i got a thundercats button thundercats ho love me some Thundercats. Okay, and then, uh, uh, get out. This is the last thing in the box, and I've actually never received anything Simpsons in my box before, even though I love the Simpsons and I check them on my survey. It's the Simpsons Comics Supernova, which I've never heard of, and it says, no power on earth can contain the explosive popularity of the Simpsons, where the shockwaves of Mr. Burns takes the Simpsons on a South Seas adventure in search of treasure, blah, blah, blah. This is actually a really nice book. Um, it's an actual book, not just a comic book. List price, $15.99. God damn, Bobos. You don't have to put expensive things in my box. It's cool. I love you anyways. Oh, this is really nice. It's like a legitimate graphic novel comic book. And this is cool because on the real, I don't read comic books unless they have some kind of characters that I like in them. And this is. So I'm going to totally read this. I'm going to put it with my manga and it's going to get read very soon. And that was everything in my July big old box of stuff. Tell me what you thought about this video or this box down in the comments below. Do you want a bobus of your own? What did, what did you put in the survey? I think they did a really, really, really good job this month. I love everything that I have. I especially love that on accident I got two Captain Hook things because I really do love me some Captain Hook. You know, fun fact, um, I've tried to meet Captain Hook about 35,000 times at Disney World and on Disney Cruises and every time I get shut down because all oh, the lines cut off. Motherfucker. Like, really? You took your crying child to meet Captain Hook? Well, I'm a fucking grown ass adult. All I want to do is take a selfie and move the fuck on. But no. Maybe one day I'll get to meet Captain Hook, but he's so hard to find. Even in fucking Disneyland Paris, I could not take a picture with Captain Hook. The struggle is real. The struggle is real. But so is the Bobos. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. We'll have our little party. As always, feel free to follow me on Twitter or my anime list. My username's Anime Palooza at both places. And until next time, love your faces.